hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to create an ios plugin to use core data uh, for gado game engine now if you don't know what core data is it is basically kind of like sqlite where you can store large amount of data but uh, that data is stored in uh, like in the user's device so you don't have to store it on your server and it supports th uh, ten thousands to lakhs amount of data even crores uh, so it is pretty good for that to store large amount of data and we will be doing CRUD operation for it and uh, Just like you inside SQLite you have multiple tables You can create multiple entities in core data as well. So an entity refers to a table uh, in SQLite uh, So an entity of a core data refers to a table in SQLite. So let's see how to do this uh, now first I have already created one plugin and I will be copying a lot of code from that plugin uh, so yeah bear with me uh, but I will explain you each and every step as much as I can uh, first step is you require, require Mac OS for to create iOS plugin then you will need to install Python you can download Xcode from Apple App Store and for scones you require homebrew install once you have homebrew install you can just run this command inside your terminal brew install scones it will uh, install scones for you then we have to create one folder like i have already created a folder called my workspace you can name it whatever you feel like uh, don't concentrate on this work folder this is a uh, my reference uh, plugin which i am i will be copy pasting from but just concentrate on this my workspace folder you can name it whatever you feel like then he, inside my workspace i'll create a folder called plugin now this is important now he from this you follow whatever i am doing okay then uh, we have to uh, so you will again have to open your terminal cd to your plugin folder which we have just created and then run this command so this will clone all the gado uh, project uh, like all the gado source code uh, from github so i already have that so i'll just copy paste it because that would be more quicker for me but you might not be having it so you will have to clone it inside the plugin folder next this will take little bit of time so be patient once you are done with that you will have to cd to your gado folder and then run this particular command scones platform equal to ios target equal to template underscore debug dash jw dash j4 and uh, so yeah just run this particular command and you should be able to uh, uh, generate uh, ios platform headers which we uh, require for our project now i have already done this again this will also take a little bit of time so be patient the next thing is we will have to open xcode so i'll quickly open xcode and here i will click on create new project uh, from this select ios make sure you select static library you can choose framework as well but i'll just go with static library uh, again your choice uh, then just click on next uh, next here you will have to select your team so make sure you select your own team uh, and here you will have to give some product name make sure language is objective c you can change your organization identifier to whatever you feel like now for product name don't give it as core data core data might be a reserved word uh, and uh, uh, you might face problem later on so i'll just write it as my data just keep it simple make sure you select team and click on next then you will have to go to your plugin folder and inside that plugin folder i will just click, uh, like create my xcode project uh, now here uh, inside ios deployment target you can select whatever minimum deployment target you want your app to run on or your plugin to work on so i'll just select it as 16 but if you want choose whatever you feel like because core data i think is supported uh, like it is very extremely old so you would be good with that uh, uh, next what we'll have to do is so i will be copying a lot of code from this previous uh, thing which i have okay it got deleted i don't know why it got deleted okay, i'll just open this i'll just close everything close others i need this i need this need this i need this okay i'll open it okay so now what i will do is that I will close Xcode so just quit Xcode because we have to do some kind of project restructuring 
uh, go back to your plugin and this my data is my xcode project right so this dot xcode proj file you see move it inside your plugin folder something like this and inside my data i have these two files i'll move it uh, one level uh, prior and i have this my data folder empty my data folder i'll just delete it okay then uh, again this is a structure which we have to follow if we keep the original structure then we face a lot of issues so that's why i'm following the structure now again i'll click on double click on xcode proj file and it will open that project for in xcode for me now first what we will have to do is that we will have to create core data so i will just right click new uh, and here you will have to select data model so this will be uh, our core data click on next and let me see what name i have given uh, i think i have given it as my ios core something like that okay it should be over here yeah i have given it a very bad name my ios core i will keep it same because uh, this name is very important you will have to refer the same name inside your code as well and it could be like uh, i have very difficult uh, uh, like i have very difficulty in remembering things so i don't want to cause any bugs but if you are confident that you will change it inside the code as well i will show you where exactly you will have to change it you can use some better name as well i think this is a terrible name my ios score but yeah you can use some uh, better name so i'll just click on create and here you can see it has created a, a my ios score for us now the first thing is just select on this and click over here and make sure you uncheck this use with swift data like swift data is an alternative to core data but i think i don't know why they have given this uh, checkbox uh, maybe uh, so maybe uh, if you want to migrate away from core data maybe for that but currently i have hard time integrating swift itself forget about swift data anyways that's some other topic i don't want to go into that okay so this is fine let me check other things okay this is also fine next i'll just click on add entity and here i will name this as to do okay i'll just to do so this is basically a table if you want you can add more tables as well just click on add entity but just for simplicity i will only add one entity which is a table now inside this table or an entity we need uh, some uh, attributes right uh, some uh, rows or some uh, values uh, like header values so i'll add two things uh, first just click on this plus button first is title and it would be of type string okay and second is description so i'll just name it a desc don't write the entire word description i think it is again a reserved word that's why i faced a lot of issue for that as well and again this is string but here you can add whatever you feel like again just for simplicity what i had done previously i am using the same thing again because i don't want to mess it up in my tutorial so this is title okay this is description okay this looks fine to me again be free to add more things more attributes if you want be free to add more entities as well if you want now once your description is clicked if you are over here i don't want to keep a description as optional if you want you can keep description as optional as well i will just uncheck this checkbox then i'll go to title and again i'll uh, make sure this is not optional i'll uncheck this checkbox as well next i'll select this i don't know what this is called and here the code generation should be in language of objective c similarly for description as well the code uh, yeah make sure this is objective c as well uh, okay i think so that should be it okay let me just check once more uh, yeah objective c this looks fine this looks fine this looks fine this looks fine as well okay it looks fine to me next uh, i'll be copying a lot of code so but i'll try to explain as much as i can first we have to create an uh, module file of header type so i'll just name it as my data underscore module let me see yeah, my data underscore module is fine so i'll just select header file next my data because my plugin name is my data that's why i'm using the same name so that's why you have to be careful and i'll just click on create 
then I'll have to create an objective C file with the same name I'll click on next I'll click on create then I have to change the extension to dot mm so it is objective C++ same for this file as well change the extension to dot mm it is objective C++ and again firstly I'll copy this code uh, now this is boilerplate code so don't worry too much about it even even if you don't understand uh, even I don't understand all this stuff I am not a C++ guy or an objective C++ guy so I'll just name wherever it is arithmetic I'll just name it as my data because previously I had create a, created a plugin called arithmetic and I'm just copying all the boilerplate code from that particular uh, plugin next I will have to create this particular file so I already have it I'll just copy paste the code I'll paste it over here okay again I'll just name uh, arithmetic to my data my data my data here M should be capital uh, my data my data here M should be capital and here it is my data again the plugin name is also terrible but yeah make sure you use your better name than me my data okay this is also this also should be my data this is my data and this is my data as well okay this looks good then we'll have to go to this particular header file i will have to copy paste this as well just copy it and i'll paste it over inside this header file uh, now again again most of the code is boilerplate code okay so i'll just here write my data in caps my data similarly over here as well i will write my data then uh, here we have to import core data so core data is the framework uh, because we will be using core data uh, apis inside our objective c file that's why we have to import it inside the header file uh, then over here as well i will have to write my data m is capital oh sorry m is capital okay and here is also same thing here is also same thing i'll come back to this later on here also same thing here also same thing and here also same thing and i'll come back to this as well okay i think this looks fine so basically uh, whatever this entire thing is boilerplate code this entire thing is boilerplate code and this is boilerplate code and here what i'm doing is that uh, this is also boilerplate code so here what i'm doing i have creating four methods for my uh, table for my entity first one is called save data it takes title as well as description get data will help us help me to fetch all the data which is present uh, i have purposefully not given return type because i will be using signals for it uh, so yeah if you want to give return type you can do that as well uh, if you want to know how to do this you can follow my first video which i had created on how to create ios plugin in that i had i had written types as well but just to avoid complexity i didn't do that then for delete data i am passing one title so if that particular title is present inside our database then i am deleting that similarly for update data i am first finding the title which i want to update and then i am passing the new title as well as the new description all right and here uh, i have created few variables like these are helpful variables for us um, if you like create if you have any idea about creating a native ios project with core data you might be knowing that the save context as well as get persistent container are automatically created for us inside app delegate whenever we use core data so that's what this is it would be very difficult for me to explain it to you if you don't come from ios background but anyways like it's basically helpful methods uh, for helpful uh, methods for interacting with core data that's what you need to know then i'll come over here and i'll copy paste everything i'll have to go to this objective c++ file i'll paste it over here again we are importing core data i'm not sure if we require this again or not i'll just remove it i don't think we require it because we have already included this inside our uh, header file i'll remove this 
then here i'll just name it as my arithmetic sorry my data okay and here i have we are just creating an interface for getting the persistent container now to be honest with you i i made use of chat gpt even i am not good with objective c plus uh, plus what i did was i copied one tutorial online from how to do like how to interact uh, with core data using objective c for a native ios project when i once i had that i had that i just uh, use chat gpt to convert my objective c code to objective c plus plus so again uh, like i would highly recommend you to do your own research because the objective c code it works but I, like i'm not uh, like familiar with this auto releasing then there are some other synchron uh, like terminologies like synchronized then i think there is one more uh, which i yeah auto release pool i don't know what these are uh, but <laughs> it works yeah that's why i'm telling you do your own research uh, yeah if you have an objective c plus plus guy maybe you can ask him or her that then i'll just do this as well okay and here as uh, okay i'll just first convert every arithmetic to uh, my data okay my data over here my data over here my data my data this should be my data as well m small uh, okay my my data over here my data over here over here as well over here as well and over here as well then over here as well over here over here over here over here and over here is that it okay we don't need this as well okay this is my data m is small uh, this is my data this is my data this is my data and this is also my data i'll just remove the space okay, over here as well as over here let's see if there are any more arithmetic or not okay still i'll just update this as my data as well okay is there more arithmetic no let's see if there are any thing inside this project uh, no okay atic no so okay so i'll explain you the code so basically we are importing our header file first then we are creating an interface for getting the persistent container then uh, now this is boilerplate code like uh, whenever you are working with core data so basically what we are doing is that so our core data name is my ios core so i'm using the same name if you are using different name make sure you use that particular name okay and i think i have made some mistake why this is momd this should not be momd able to find model hmm okay let me just come back to you i think i have made some mistake in this code okay so i have refactored the code a little bit over here so here i am just finding for this my ios core like whatever is your core data model name uh, my file name is my ios core again change it to whatever you feel like and this is boilerplate code which we get inside our native ios project whenever we are working with core data so i have just converted this to object to c plus plus and pasted it over here okay so it's basically uh, finds our uh, core data model then uh, this is again boilerplate code so we are just instantiating our uh, basically instantiating our uh, static plugin again i don't need this i'll just remove this so this is for deinitialization here we are returning our singleton then i have created two signals one called get result and one for called get message uh, both of them would uh, return data type of string i don't know what this result and message is like whatever is the second whatever is after underscore i use it over here 
that's what i find inside the uh, basic ios plugin template uh, so that's what i'm using but the data type is string next uh, we have this uh, save method as you can see uh, so whatever i had methods i had inside our header file i'm using the same method save data get all data delete data and update data so same save data save data get all data get all data delete delete update update okay then here is an again a boilerplate code related to core data to get the uh, persistent container so that's how i get it uh, then to save data uh, sorry this is save context uh, which we had defined over here so again this is boilerplate code uh, which we get by default whenever uh, we create an uh, core data model uh, for a native is project i have just copy pasted it from that uh, sorry i would i don't have any better explanation for this then again i don't know what this auto release pool is so basically we get the title and description we convert it to na string uh, then we get our context and then our entity name is to do right so that's what i'm writing over here so be careful with this and then we are saving the title as well as the description so for title uh, row we are setting this title data for description desc we are using description data so same name whatever you have defined over here title and desc have to be used over here as well and if there is any error i'm sending a error signal back if in case of success i'm saying successfully saved to context now for getting all the data now as you might be knowing that when we fetch data we will be fetching an uh, like an uh, list of uh, to do's right but as far as i know it's impossible to send list of to do's like this complex data uh, type back to gado so what i'm doing is that i'm converting that list to a json then to an ns string and sending it back to gado side if you have a better way you can use that so be, again we are finding our uh, entity to do fetching our items if there is any error uh, I'm logging to the console uh, okay and if you want you can send a message as well so I'll just send a message as well in case if there is any error so maybe you can write error fetching items something like this okay and uh, then I'm creating an uh, NS mutable array uh, we are looping over this items uh, then I am adding all those items to our item descriptor NS mutable array. Uh, then we are basically uh, converting that to JSON data. So NH data actually, sorry. And once we have that NH data, so JSON data variable name, we convert it to an NH string. So that's what I'm doing over here. Again, here if you want, you can just emit one signal as well. Okay just write it over here and then i am just converting it to utf8 string before sending it back to gado side now once you receive it on gado side it's your job to uh, convert it into a list on uh, gado side like on jd script because you will be getting this in data in form of string i think that won't be that difficult but yeah next for deleting the data we are getting the title for which we want to delete the data so again we are getting we are converting this title to any string uh, then we are fetching all their requests from our to do but we are adding one predicate so that uh, it doesn't fetch everything but only fetches uh, those item those titles whose title matches the one which we have provided now uh, again in case of error i'm sending an error signal back but here you can see if the item count is greater than zero i'm only fetching the first item and then and deleting it so if you have if you want to delete multiple items uh, maybe you can use a for loop and uh, don't use this uh, I'm like getting only the f deleting only the first item so it depends on you what exactly you want to do and in case there is error saving context I'm sending an error message back otherwise a success message back okay in case no items then I'm just saying no delete performed for updating the data we are first uh, sending the title for which we want to update and the second and third variable are the new title and new description uh, which we want to update with so first we, we are converting any everything to any string then again same thing what we did for delete 
you are fetching the to do items and adding a predicate so that it only fetches those uh, those titles for which we need if there is no no such thing we are emitting a signal uh, and if there are items greater than zero then again i am only fetching the first one if you want to update all the items you will have to use a for loop if there is any error, I'm sending an uh, emit signal error message back. Otherwise, I'm saying success. Okay, and in case of no item, I'm just saying no item found. I think that should be it. So let's look at my cheat sheet, which I have created. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Okay, next we'll have to go to build settings, header search path. So what I'll do is that. Uh, so I'm inside my, my workspace. Go to plugin, Gado then here you will have to go to platform ios select any of this file okay just click on get info i'll get get my path for ios folder i'll copy it then i'll go back to my xcode project go to build settings search for header search path i'll paste it over here i'll click on this plus button paste it over here click enter click outside and it has uh, done that okay the next thing is we'll have to copy this create this dot gdip file so i'll just copy it from my previous project but you will have to paste it inside your plugin folder so i'll just copy paste copy this i'll paste it over here again you will have to name it as my data because that is what is our static library name name it as my data i'll open it so that you can copy it as well again here we'll have to change it everything my data okay this should be my data then over here as well we require my data over here as well my data i'll save it and here because we are using core data framework here you will have to add core data framework you don't really need this camera permission this is part of my older plugin so that's how your dot gdip file will look like then just close everything then we require need to create this s construct file so this file would be very large so you can go to this particular url to copy that particular file uh, okay so i'll just so i already have that file just copy it and I'll paste it over here then I will open it so first we'll have to find wherever arithmetic is written I'll need to replace it with my data okay I'll just find I have found it over here okay let's see where else okay over here over here and over here as well that's it now one more thing which you have to be careful is uh, this this thing which you see it the minimum I simulator version is 10 or minimum os version is 10 but if you remember while creating our static library i have set the minimum deployment target to be 16 i'll make the same over here uh, because i want just to be consistent nothing else okay so i'll keep it same so whatever you have chosen make sure you use that so yeah as construct file is done so this is the entire S construct file then we will have to create a bin folder inside plugin so i'll just create that and we'll have to run this command but instead of arithmetic we'll have to run it as my data so i'll open it this okay i am i think i'm inside the wrong folder cd dot dot I'll go to the correct folder okay and i'll just paste it over here but instead of arithmetic i'll write my data okay it is saying no s construct file found oh i don't need to go to the bin folder i need to go to the plugin folder sorry inside the plugin for directory you have to run this particular command so here here you can see inside the bin folder it has created this dot a file 
okay now uh, what we have to do is we'll have to create a godot project so i'll quickly create a godot project you don't have to create it inside the plugin folder uh, like create it wherever you like i'll just quickly create it and come back okay so i have created my godot project then inside my godot project i'll just create a folder called ios inside that i will create a folder called plugins with an s then what i'll do i'll go to my main plugin folder i will copy the .gdip file and i'll paste it inside my ios plugins folder of godot project then you again you will have to go to the plugin folder go to bin copy this .a file again go to your godot project go to ios plugins and i'll paste it over here but here you will have to name it as my dot my data dot a because my data is the name of our static library okay this is done uh okay next you will have to click on project export click add ios click on fix import firstly you will have to add your app store team id to get your app store team id you can just go to this url it will guide you on how to get your app store team id i will enter my app store team id later uh, then i have to enter some bundle identifier so i'll just enter it at my awesome godot game okay and inside plugins you should see able to see your plugin so i am able to see my data i'll just click on it and i'll quickly enter my app store team id and come back okay so i have entered my app store team id the next thing which i have done is that i have just created one scene and here i have created four, four buttons save get update and delete and i have created two label one which will show all the data which is present inside core data and one label which will show any error messages or success messages if any then i have attached one script to this uh, okay so this is the script now here instead of arithmetic i'll just have to add my data over here I'll just replace this okay replace it over here I'll replace it over here over here here and over here as well and this also needs to be replaced so m would be capital this will be replaced m would be capital so uh, what we are doing is that i have created our two labels uh, references and then we I have created one variable called my data if uh, which is assigned to null then here i'm checking if we have a plugin called my data if yes then initialize it so i'm creating a singleton here we are uh, listening like connecting our two signals as well so for that i have created these two methods and once uh, whenever i get i just update our label to the data which i'm getting if uh, we don't have if my data is still uh, null then we are returning back so on first button press i am calling the save data method here i have hard coded the values but if you want you can create a text input or something like that so i'm just for title it is first title description it is first description for getting all data just call get all data for updating so i'm first finding the first title title which is equal to first title and the updated one is first updated title and first updated description similarly for delete data as well i am just calling first title all right then we have to export our project okay before that make sure you run your project once because if you don't if you don't have a root scene uh, your app won't be able to find it now here that's fine like my ui is getting cropped up but i have an ipad so it would look fine for me uh, now if your ui is getting cropped up if you are using iphone make sure you change your ui uh, over here to whatever you feel like again the next thing which we have to do is we just have to click on file export come back over here make sure you have entered your app store team id then i'll just click on export project and here you can export it to whatever folder you want don't export it to the plugin folder because this export create lot of files is basically creates an xcode project for us so that's why I've created one separate folder for this outside the plugin folder, but you can create it whatever, wherever you feel like. And we, I'll just click on save and this will take a little bit of time. So once it is exported, I'll come back. Okay. So my Xcode, uh, like my export has been done. 
uh, once export has been done you can go to the folder where it was exported and just double click on this xcode proj file it will open it inside xcode then you will have to go to your targets and inside sign in and capabilities if your team is not selected make sure you select your team now here you will have to select the same team for which you have entered the app store team id inside gado uh, after selecting your team if you're still facing any issue uh, like you if you are seeing any errors make sure you uncheck this automatic manage signing and check it again and again select your team and i think that should resolve your issue so i'll quickly do that and come back now before you run your project another important thing which you have to keep in mind is go back to the original static library where you have created it so i'll go back to that so it is in my data okay and this my ios core xc data model this is our core data thing right you will have to drag and drop this inside your exported project so as you can see make sure all these checkbox are checked and i'll click on finish now the reason why we have to do this when we create our dot a file uh, by running scones this uh, core data thing is not bundled inside our dot a file i tried it uh, i tried different approach i even asked chat gpt4 uh, it, it was not able to give me proper answers uh, like i tried uh, changing the s construct file as well it was getting too complicated i was not able to find any issue and any solution sorry uh, that's why this is the easiest solution which i could find just drag and drop your core data model inside your project uh, even uh, suppose uh, if you uh, made some changes later on and do an export again again you will have to drag and drop your core data model uh, don't worry about data getting uh, lost like suppose a user has some uh, has already installed your app if you haven't changed your uh, core data thing like if you haven't added any entity like if you are adding any entity uh, i think you will have to provide migrations i'm not really sure if core data automatically handles that for us or not but don't worry about data getting lost uh, like core data is smart enough so even if you are exporting it make sure you drag and drop uh, your core data thing and once you try to run it again the previous data which you have inside your core data would be saved properly don't worry about it so i'll quickly run my app uh, in my uh, ipad make sure you use a real device like i have faced a lot of issues on simulator that's why i'm not using simulator so i'll quickly run my app and come back okay so as you can see uh, my app is running on my ipad if i click on save here you can see successfully saving to context so the data has been saved if i click on get here you can see the title is first title description is first description because that's what i saved right um, okay x code is all right anyways uh, now if i click on update okay it has successfully updated the item i'll again click on get to get the updated item and here you can see first updated title first updated description if i click on delete okay no delete perform because we are searching for first title if you remember uh, inside my delete operation i'll just show it to you so that you would believe me i'm uh, looking for first title but the title has been updated to first updated title what i'll do is i'll quickly save one more okay i'll click on get here you can see first title is also there i'll click quickly click on delete uh, i'll again click on get and here you can see first updated title first updated description now if you want you can just uh, close your app entirely uh, open your app again and your data would be persisted so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye